Hey, my fellow follicle frontiersman is DJ from Carriage and Brotherhood. In today's video, I'm going to give you my one month update of taking finasteride Propecia. I'm going to tell you about some of the side effects, as well as a couple of good things that I noticed about taking it. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. Carrots and Brotherhood is all about helping you build confidence in hair loss through positivity, empathy, and transparency. If you enjoy this content, make sure you click the subscribe button and also click the little bell to turn on notifications. That way you can be one of the first to be notified whenever I upload new content. So I'm gonna tell you about two bad things first and two good things that I know it's about taking the finasteride after 30 days. I've been taking finasteride one milligram um, every day for the past 30 days. During the first two weeks, one thing I had noticed was I had a splitting headache, dude. Like almost, I've never had a migraine before. I can't say it was that, you know, it was that bad. But I mean, I had a super bad headache within two or three hours after taking the medicine. So I can't say 100% that it was caused by the finasteride, but it was definitely correlated with taking it because it would come like two or three hours after I took the medicine. And it would just be a splitting pain, like right here in the middle of my forehead. I, I, I was taking the finasteride in the morning and then I started getting the headaches. And so I just started taking it at night. That way when I do get the headache, I'm already sleeping. But it only lasted for about two weeks when the third week started. And since until now, I haven't experienced any more headaches. So maybe it's just my body trying to adjust to using the medicine. But during the first two weeks, the headache really kind of shocked me, almost to the point where I wanted to go see the doctor and see if everything's okay. The second thing I've noticed is that there's no hair growth. There's no hair regrowth. My hair isn't any thicker. And to be honest with you, I'm not expecting anything to happen after just a month. I'm not a fool. Uh, I understand that this medicine is affecting hormones and things, and it can take, you know, six to nine to 12 months before there's any appreciable results. After a month, don't expect anything to happen, guys. But I know a lot of you are curious, like how quickly will you see the results? 30 days is not enough time for anything to happen, okay? You can't even notice if your hair is getting any thicker in 30 days, all right? There's nothing really to compare to. I will say that if you have been taking it for 30 days and you're expecting to see some stoppage of shedding, these days I've been shedding really badly, which is what kind of pushed my decision to start taking finasteride. I'm 35 years old now, and I've been putting off taking finasteride for years, um, but recently the shedding has just gotten to a point where it's uncontrollable. Uh, I need to start something to kind of, kind of keep it in check. But the shedding is still going on 30 days later. Hasn't really lightened up at all. And so I think that's important for you to know if you are shedding, don't anticipate the finasteride stopping the shedding in just a month. I'll give you an update in, in a couple weeks about the two months and three months and I'll tell you if the shedding stops. But as of now, I'm still shedding pretty heavily. I'm not really concerned. You know, just get the medicine time to do its thing. Just have realistic expectations and don't expect the medicine to be some kind of miracle instantaneous transformation. So those are two bad things that I noticed about the finasteride, but there are two good things that I, that I could not expect to happen that did happen. And the first is I feel stronger, like stronger. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm, I'm the Hulk and I'm like hulking it out in the gym. I'm not that type of guy, but I do work out and I've seen and noticed an appreciable increase in my lifts, especially my compound lifts, like bench. My bench has gone up like five kilograms. Uh, I just feel stronger, you know? I just feel like in the gym, I'm stronger, slightly more aggressive. And after researching, and putting kind of puzzle pieces together. If you don't know how finasteride works, it works by suppressing DHT conversion from testosterone. I'm not gonna get into the specifics of it because I don't fully understand it myself, but I do understand it from a layman's point of view that you know if there's less DHT conversion, then that means there's more free testosterone in the body, especially when you first start taking the finasteride because your body is still trying to establish an equilibrium of hormones. And so the testosterone actually increases, and that increase is what can cause you know an increase in the strength. It's like guys taking steroids. Now I'm not saying that finasteride is steroids, guys, okay? So don't, don't do, <laughs> don't quote me on that one. I'm just saying that I can kind of put the puzzle pieces together and understand that, okay, well, you know, if I'm getting a bit stronger, it could be because the testosterone increase. Linked to the testosterone increase is the second great thing that I know is about the finasteride, and that's, I have like a higher libido. Like my sex drive has been pretty high. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna say that I'm like, you know, flaunting supreme male prowess in any stretch of the imagination, but I mean, just a normal guy, but those first two weeks, actually until like the end of the fourth week of taking the finasteride, I I was looking at my wife like she was a complete snack, dude. Like it was it was that noticeable, like that strong, like because I've seen all these people talking online about oh you know it's killing my sex drive and da 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 da. And I get it. I get what you're saying and I hope that doesn't happen to me. But again, the increase of testosterone, testosterone is where our sex drive comes from, it's where the libido comes from. And so if there's more free testosterone because the medicine is blocking DHT conversion, it makes sense that you could have higher libido. Actually, I've had people commenting on my videos uh, before and also seeing on the message boards on Reddit that people have experienced the higher libido. And it's a welcome surprise, you know, like enjoy it while it lasts. I will tell you that it's six weeks now 
uh, it's begin it's begun to kind of taper off. So I don't feel as hungry as I was a couple of weeks ago, but I don't feel like completely imp impotent. I don't feel any like negative points. Okay guys, so increased libido, if it does happen to you, congratulations. Take it full advantage of it while it lasts because your body is all about homostasis. It's about creating balance and your hormones will eventually balance themselves out. Uh, enjoy it while it lasts. It's fucking amazing though, seriously. If you've been taking finasteride, tell us about your experiences during that first month. Drop it in the comments down below. Anyways, I hope you found this update helpful. I'll be putting out the two month update in a few weeks and hopefully by watching these videos, if you're on the fence about taking finasteride, then it'll help you make your decision. I'm DJ from Keratin Brotherhood. I'll see you guys in the next video.